Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Okay, so now we've gone through the journal entries, the T-accounts, and now we're going to look at adjusting entries for Joe's Landscaping. So I put together the trial balance based off the T-accounts that we did. Okay, all my accounts are assets, then liabilities, then equity, revenue, and expense. Notice that my total debits equal my total credits. So now let's look at adjustments. Now adjusting entries will either tell you the new balance in the account or how much the balance has changed. So you need to make sure that you watch the wording to make sure that you put you make your journal entry for the correct um, for the correct amount. Okay, so we're going to do these ones just like we did the regular entries. Okay, except these are our adjustments. So let's look at number one, and I'm going to call this AJE number one. Okay, account of office supplies showed that $100 in supplies are still on hand. Okay, so now we have to ask ourselves, so is this telling us the new balance or is this telling us how much has changed? This is telling us the new balance in the account. So it says we still have a hundred dollars worth of office supplies. So if we look at our office supplies balance, the balance in the account is five hundred dollars. So we need to adjust our office supplies account from five hundred dollars to one hundred dollars. Okay, so if I currently have $500 in the account and I want to lower my balance to 100, let's do a T account for this so you can see what this would look like. So office supplies currently has a $500 debit balance. And what we want is we want the balance to be $100 after the entry. So that means that I need to do an entry for some amount here that would bring my balance from 500 to 100. So what I need to do is I need to credit the account $400. Okay, so if I've got my debit of 5 and my credit of 4, that would bring me the $100 balance. So my first account is office supplies. and I'm going to credit the account 400. Now what happened to those supplies? Well, we use them up. And when we use something up, we say that something has expired, okay, and that becomes an expense. So we're going to say office supplies expense office supplies expense and we're going to debit that account 400. Okay, so that shows that we used up the office supplies. Now let's look at number two. So we'll say AJE number two. Okay, $800 worth of landscaping supplies have been used up by the end of the year. Okay, so now is this one telling us how much our account changed or how much we have left? Well, this one says that $800 has been used up. Okay, so that's telling us how much has been used up. So if I look at my landscaping supplies, my landscaping supplies is $1,500. We've used up $800. So let's look at the T account for this one. So we'll say land supplies. Okay, so we had 800, I'm sorry, we had 1500, and we used up 800. So my balance is 700. So you see, this one's actually telling us how much we used up. So, land supplies, 
landscaping supplies. And we're going to credit that 800. And then we could call this landscaping supplies expense. Or we, all, we already have an account called job expenses, so let's just use that. because those are really job expenses. We'll use up supplies, so that works. Okay, let's look at number three. Number three says depreciation on computer equipment is $100. Okay, so when you're dealing with depreciation, what depreciation is, is notice when we bought the computer equipment, we put the entire $5,000 balance into the asset computer equipment. What depreciation does is depreciation tells us how much we've used up. Okay, so we're using this computer equipment in our business, and so what we're trying to do is we're trying to recover the cost of that computer equipment, and the way that we do that is we expense it. Now, since we can't directly expense the computer equipment, what we do is we use something called depreciation. There are two accounts you use when you're doing depreciation. You use depreciation expense, and I'm going to put a dash and call this depreciation expense for computer equipment. Okay, so I've got depreciation expense for computer equipment, and then my other account is going to be accumulated depreciation. dash computer equipment. Okay, so accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account and it is linked to your computer equipment account. Okay, so and you'll see when we do the balance sheet what happens with that account. Essentially what it does is it goes below computer equipment and it shows the amount that we've used up over the years. So depreciation expense is my debit. So we're going to debit that $100. And accumulated depreciation computer equipment is my credit. $100. Okay. So now that one's done. Let's look at number four. That's not a very good four, is it? There we go, that's better. Okay, depreciation on landscaping equipment is $1,200. So again, we have another depreciation entry. This time we're going to put this one into the accumulated depreciation account for landscaping equipment, and we're going to use depreciation expense landscaping equipment. So let's put that down. Okay, so I've got depreciation expense landscaping equipment. That's going to be $1,200 on the debit side. And then accumulated depreciation. and that's going to be my credit, 1200 Okay, so whenever you're doing depreciation entries, you're always going to have two accounts. You're going to have accumulated uh, depreciation and depreciation expense. 
Remember expenses are normally debit, so you're going to debit the expense and credit the accumulated depreciation account. An accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account. Okay, let's do number five. AJE number five. Okay, records show that the job from entry number nine, remember entry number nine in the last video? has been completed. $2,800 worth of work was completed but the customer has not yet been billed. So let's remind ourselves what happened in um, entry number nine. Oh, I'm sorry that's actually entry number 11 not entry number nine. So that should actually be entry number 11 on the other one. So let me cross that out and write in 11. Sorry about that. Okay. So in entry number 11, we said the company received a check for $1,400, which is a 50% deposit on work to be completed next week. Okay, so we received $1,400 in advance. And what account did we put that in? We put that in unearned revenue. So that 1400 is sitting there. Okay, but it says we did $2,800 worth of, worth of work. So we have to think about this for a second. So if we did $2,800 worth of work, that's revenue. And we had unearned revenue Okay, so I've got revenue and unearned revenue, and then it says the customer has not yet been billed. Okay, so if the customer has not yet been billed, we can be pretty sure that there's an accounts receivable in here. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do with these. So I did $2,800 worth of work, so I'm going to credit revenue $2,800. Okay, now how are we going to get paid for this $2,800? Well, we were paid $1,400 in advance before we started the work. So my unearned revenue, which has now been earned, is $1,400. My accounts receivable is the amount of the balance. So my accounts receivable is also $1,400. Okay, so now I've accounted for the full thing. For all the revenue plus the unearned revenue and the accounts receivable. Okay, last adjustment. AJE number six. Joe used his personal vehicle for business. In December he used his vehicle to drive 150 miles. The mileage rate the company uses for reimbursement is 50 cents per mile. Okay, so what's happening here? So Joe used his vehicle he hasn't been paid for it because otherwise we would have already seen the entry come through cash. So if he used his personal vehicle for business, we could call this mileage expense, we could call this job expense. Let's call it mileage expense. Okay, so I've got mileage expense. And then we haven't paid him yet. So if we haven't paid him yet, that means that we now have a liability because we have to pay him. So my other account is accounts payable. Okay, which one's my debit? Well, typically we debit expenses. How much is the amount? He drove 150 miles times 50 cents per mile. So that'd be $75. So my account's payable is $75. Okay, so those are some pretty common entries that you'll see. Okay, certainly it's not an exhaustive list, but it should give you a good idea on what to look for when you're doing adjusting entries and how to kind of pull them apart so you can analyze them.